Hey guys, it's Josh from Apt here at CES 2014, and Peter from Martin Logan is going to tell us all about these new subs, the Balance Force series. Hello, Peter. Hi, Josh. Pleasure. <laughs> How are you doing today? Again, uh, <laughs> show conditions uh, uh, notwithstanding, absolutely fabulous. All right, so Balance Force series coming out hopefully soon, or are they shipping? Balance Force actually were initially shown at last year's CES with still some uh, work to do as pre-prototypes, okay. but they now are officially shipping as of two weeks ago. Well, I'm eager to get into this because it looks really cool. Can you show us a little bit about the options? Well, there's a variety of unusual things going on with us. Uh, if you're familiar with the earlier descent and depth subwoofers, which many people did feel were the best in the world in many regards, we had used three drivers to cancel any cabinet vibration that would occur. Because any time something is ringing, it becomes a speaker. The wood of a cabinet would ring and smear the sound, making many subs sound dark, muddy, dirty. By going to the driver arrays in the original descent and depth, we were able to use the vibrational energy from the drivers to cancel any vibration that would occur inside the cabinetry. Now we jump ahead 13 years, and after two and a half years of development, we have now the Balance Force 212 and 210. Going from three drivers now to two larger drivers with much more powerful amplifiers, 3400 watts in the case of the 212, we were able to keep the cancellation properties of the original depth and descents, but increase output by over 6 dB as compared to the models they're replacing. So we maintain that dead cabinet thing that has made our, our subwoofer so clean and so popular in the very high end. There are a variety of new features, though, that after this development time we've been able to incorporate. One is perfect bass kit. With using a microphone setup, software based on your computer, we're able to measure the subwoofer's interactions with your rooms and essentially flatten out any irregularities that are going to be caused by your room acoustics, making for a perfect base inside your room. And that kit comes with them and the software you need? It's an additional charge of $99 retail for the full microphone, stand, software, and the cabling. Some people may have already existing systems inside upper end preamplifiers, so that's why we have it as a separate accessory kit. Or a dealer may buy one kit and service their customers okay. as a need to know basis. Okay, and as far as the difference between the 210 and the 212? Well, as the name implies, there are two 12-inch woofers in the 212, two 10-inch woofers in 210. We did get simple on something for a change in that regard. <laughs> uh, the other difference is the amplifiers. There's roughly half the amplifier power in the 210 as well. So obviously there's going to be a difference in maximum output capabilities between the two models. The rest of the feature con though, content, though, is the same. The perfect base kit, as I've mentioned, resulting in flat, perfect base inside any room acoustic, and a very unique feature on the market, the ability to go to the Martin Logan website, download to a flash drive the perfect crossover handoff to any Martin Logan speaker we've built over our history, download that custom mm. crossover filter into each of the subwoofers, then making a perfect handoff. Wow. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's a perfect one. There's also a number of practical improvements that have been introduced here, too. Uh, additional input flexibility, so you're able to set up with unique crossover points for music playback and movie playback. So you can have a very dynamic in a movie setting or nice and subtle for music setting. So so for that's a chameleon in your hookup. Master slave cables, where a master control signal is generated by the first subwoofer in the system, cabled out to the slave subwoofer, so you only have to do the equalization setup on one woofer, but the system looks at it as a whole. Okay. So, making setup and installation much easier for you. And you did not have these features on the previous generation? Correct. These are all new features that okay. are a result of the two and a half years, as I say, all in right. development. A couple other nice things. Full control capability as far as setting up with other brands of speakers, of course, exist. And for the installers, where sometimes once you get this much deep bass energy in a room, you find problems with how the room is constructed, we've incorporated a rattle test, where I can start the woofer at its upper range, cycle down through to below 20 hertz, and allow us to then freeze the frequency to go find out what is vibrating in that room. <laughs> so. A nice feature that I'm sure will irritate many people in the store on every Saturday. So. Or right now here at the hotel. Your neighbors, I'm sure, have uh, enjoyed that demo all day. <laughs> our, our, our neighbors are our enemies at this point. So. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you, Josh. Thanks for having us, and have a great day. We'll you guys, see. there's a lot more content at app.com.